hello guys so welcome to ko tutorial so let's continue with the next part of this tutorial so let's get started so as you can see over here we have started with the modeling of this particular stylish living room over here so let's continue it so now what i'll be doing over here i'll be modeling the pillows let's take a box i'll go over here i'll just add some segments let's give a bit of turbo smooth convert to poly let's give a cloth modifier go into object properties let's give a cloth and now what i'll be doing over here is like after giving this cloth over here i'll give the pressure over here as 15 let's click okay let's go down and give the gravity as zero and simulate local and let's convert to editable poly so once it is done i can just rotate it i'll slightly resize it if needed and i'll just place it over here i'll scale it put it over here rotate it push it a bit up and again make one more copy of it slightly rotate it push it out put it on over here in this way <coughs> now i'll again go over here let's take one chamfer box for this very less go into this slightly if you want you can just give a bit of fillet height segments you can give some segments if needed let's take a cylinder activate the auto grid and i'll just create something like this let's increase its sides and let's give go over here convert to editable poly select the edges and let's slightly give chamfer FFD cylinder so go over here if you want you can slightly adjust it if required from any of the sides select this all right so once this is done i'll just convert to poly we'll just keep as it is i'll slightly shuffle it a bit inside over here <coughs> so let's create the curtains for the curtains let's go over here let's take a line tool i'll off the auto grid So let's select this whole thing 
and if you want you can make it a bit smooth if needed I'll just go over here and let's give a extrude modifier I'll just drag it up I'll push it in this way over here let's give a shell modifier so I can slightly assign a shell convert to editable poly so select the and let's give some connects over here and let's give again a FFD box if you want you can go into this and you can just increase this so if you want you can you can just move some of the areas if needed so we can just slightly just push it so drag it out okay looks better all right and if in case you want to push this a bit inside that can also be done so that is totally possible over here and let's convert to poly let's go into this and give turbo smooth over here for the curtains so I'll just assign some color over here as well so select this let's again uh, make a copy of it so I'll just drag it over here select this resize it you can just make it smaller and now let's again go over here let's take a line so this is going to be from the top so I'll just uh, create it using a line tool so just push this up and give a lathe modifier So select the vertices and select the whole thing drag it in this way so slightly push it inside and I can just keep it open over here for instance all right so once this is done I can slightly push it up convert to editable poly select this edges let's give connect select this edges let's give connect click ok and 
then again select this vertices exclude the back side vertices you can ring this let's give some connects over here as well we can do that definitely will scale this later on hope we could have scaled this more because this is looking bigger resize it i think this is okay okay so now you can just select this and give some connects over here as well and on to the top select this and let's just drag it up over here all right all right so guys if any doubts please put it in the comment section over here so please like and subscribe my youtube channel so we'll continue the rest of the part in the coming tutorial so definitely this part is a bit pending we'll complete it so i'll just select this whole thing and i'll just give one color to it it looks better <coughs> all right so thanks for watching this tutorial